So it is my intention for today's video to teach you everything I know about creating a colorful capsule wardrobe. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you might actually be thinking, Emily, how on earth do you know how to make a colorful capsule wardrobe? Your wardrobe isn't that colorful. Just because my wardrobe isn't colorful doesn't mean I don't have great tips to help you to create a colorful capsule wardrobe. So what I wanted to do was to basically challenge myself to create an entirely new capsule wardrobe of things that you have never seen before and for it to be colorful. When I came up with this challenge, I was a bit concerned because I didn't want to go out and buy a whole heap of new stuff that I wasn't going to use or wear in my wardrobe. As you guys know, I'm very aware of overconsumption and that's not what I wanted to do just to create a video. So I came up with a solution that I think is really great and that is creating an entire colorful capsule wardrobe from thrifted pieces. So what I did was I went to four different charity shops in my local area and I created an 18 piece colorful capsule wardrobe to share with you today. So today's video is all about showing you that you can thrift incredible pieces and that colorful capsule wardrobes are so easy to create. So I will be sharing my top tips throughout the video of how to go about creating a colorful capsule wardrobe and one that is versatile and gets you loads and loads of outfits. And then at the end of the video, I've got a little kind of surprise. So with all the items that I thrifted, I didn't want to just donate them back to charity shops because I know how overwhelmed charity shops are with donations. And there is a huge problem with over donating to charity shops. So I wanna make sure that I don't just give all these clothes straight back to the charity shops that I took them from. So instead, um, there's a more environmentally friendly way of doing that. And I want to share that with you at the end of the video. So this video just packs a punch. There is so much going on and I really hope you enjoy it. If you are new here, hello, my name is Emily and I make fashion videos with an emphasis on conscious consumption and finding your personal style. If you like what you see in today's video, you might want to see a bit more from me so you can go follow me over on Instagram at Emily Elizabeth May. I share more outfit ideas there and a lot more from my personal life, including my gorgeous cat and the way I like to live a bit more sustainably and just general fun day-to-day -day stuff. So a big thank you for being here today. I really appreciate your support and I hope you enjoy this video. Now let's get started with the colorful capsule wardrobe. My very first tip for creating a colorful capsule wardrobe is to choose hero pieces. For me, I chose this dress and a colorful skirt, and then I basically shopped around those items and I tried to make lots of outfits within those items. I tried to create the color scheme around the colorfulness of those two items. So my hero pieces have greens, pinks, and blues in them. The first hero piece is this green floral midi dress. The first thing I wanted to find to complement this dress was a pink jumper. I knew by adding a pink jumper to this look, I could wear the dress on cooler days as well as warmer days. So I found this light pink jumper and it goes really well on top of the dress. When shopping, I chose neutral shoes so that they would all be really versatile and match with almost any outfit in my capsule. It is important to me that each item in my capsule wardrobe can be worn multiple times. So you will see this pink jumper pop up a few more times throughout the video. To help complement the colorful pieces in this capsule, I picked up a few neutral basic items, including these white jeans. I first styled these jeans in a nice soft outfit using the pink jumper and these 80s yellow capped heels, which I picked up for $4. I also picked up a pair of white trainers, also for $4, which hadn't been worn. In my opinion, white trainers are one of the most versatile pieces you can have in your wardrobe. I picked up this blazer as well for only $7. It is in perfect condition and fits me so well. And being a charcoal gray rather than a black makes it a lot more versatile to add with lots of items in my capsule. Next up, I was on the hunt for an orange jumper. The reason I wanted to introduce orange into my capsule wardrobe was because I knew how gorgeous orange and red went together. And of course, I wanted something colorful to wear under my red coat. Some of you guys might recognize this red coat from last week's video. 
It was one of the first things I picked up for this colorful capsule wardrobe and was another piece that helped to guide my outfit ideas. I was lucky enough to find myself another beautiful orange knit top made from alpaca wool. I picked this top up for $6, such a bargain. I then wanted to make sure these orange tops could be worn with other items in my wardrobe because versatility is key for capsule wardrobes. So I styled them with the blazer and different shoes, as well as a pair of blue jeans that I bought for $4. I also decided to style it back with the first floral dress. All the colors in this outfit are quite muted, which makes them really easy to pair back with each other. I love adding the red coat on top of this or just wearing it casually with trainers. My next hero piece is this colorful midi skirt. This skirt has pink, green and blue in it. So there are so many outfit options for this skirt. I personally don't actually love the design of the skirt. I would prefer a pleated midi skirt, but I wanted to add it in because it's such a good example to show you guys how to style color in many different ways. This beautiful cotton blouse was only $4 as well. The lace detailing is so lovely. So because the skirt has blues and greens in it, I wanted to find an appropriate jumper. This is the one I went with. It is so oversized for me, but I actually love that look. I think it's actually been hand knitted and I am a little obsessed with it and I will probably keep this. But more importantly, as you can see, the color of the jumper just works perfectly with the green and blue spots on the skirt. I was lucky enough to pick up these black leather boots for $11. So I continued to style this outfit in a few different ways. Thrifting is so exciting and is so good for the environment. I really hope I am showing you with these outfits today just how fun it can be. Now back in the day, pink and red was a big no-no. Not anymore, guys. Pink and red is definitely a color combination you will see way more of these days. You see it heaps at Fashion Week and in lots of street style photos. And I absolutely love the way that the red coat looks on top of this outfit. This is probably my favorite outfit from the bunch. It just ticks all the happy colorful boxes for me. And then the pink jumper from the beginning can also be worn with this skirt. I also tried a different belt to create a more monochromatic outfit and then added the trainers for a casual look. Next on my list was to find a navy t-shirt to wear casually with this skirt. I found this one for $2 and it works perfectly. I also found this bucket hat for $2 with the tags on and unworn. Here are a few more tips when creating a colorful capsule wardrobe. One, know your colors and what suits your skin tone. Two, use muted colors if they suit you. I find that muted colors tend to be a lot more versatile than stark bright colors. Three, use neutral styling items like jeans, shoes, belts, and basic tops. These should help tie your other colors together. Number four, Use Pinterest to work out good color combinations. One of my favorite pieces that I thrifted was this vintage shirt for $7. It has incredible lace details and beautiful buttons. This will also be a piece that I definitely keep. If you have ever thrifted a really special piece that you have fallen in love with, like I have with this vintage shirt, you'll know how amazing the feeling feels. One woman's trash is another woman's treasure and that is the best thing about thrifting. You're always going to find something that is really going to take your breath away. I love how this charcoal blazer looks on top of the skirt. I think if it was black it would be too heavy for this outfit. I needed to find a pair of shorts for my capsule wardrobe and I found these cute ones. Not super colorful, but they fit my color scheme and they go with lots in my capsule. If you are enjoying this content so far, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Another random styling piece I got was this cardigan, which was the cheapest item that I thrifted. I picked it up for 50 cents. I thought it would look beautiful with a pink skirt and for 50 cents, I couldn't really say no. 
this thick neutral colored belt has come in so handy during this capsule. Belts are going to be a huge trend for 2021 so I encourage you to go to charity shops and see if you can get yourself a really cool belt. I wanted a blue denim jean in my capsule wardrobe because they are a great basic styling piece. I picked up these ones for $4 and was able to style them in so many different ways. The good thing about having some good neutral coloured styling pieces in your wardrobe is that you can also create a bunch of outfits with those neutral pieces as well. I made sure this capsule had a good mix of colourful and neutral pieces for that very reason. As you can see, I can create this chic all white look as well as this fresh beach look with my less colourful pieces. Okay guys, so this is my favourite piece that I thrifted. Look at the crazy details on this. This was hand knitted locally in Melbourne, Australia. And I bought this for, wait for it, $5. This cardigan is such a happy and cosy piece and I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. By this time I had been filming for almost two hours and Fant Pants was starting to get a little needy. I decided to put on these yellow capped shoes which bring out the yellow in the cardigan even more. This outfit is the perfect mix of modern and 80s style all combined. I love this type of styling. To finish up, we are going full circle back to the white jeans and showing a few more of the knits on top of the jeans. All up in today's video, I showed you 42 outfits from 18 thrifted items. I would now love for you guys to guess how much this whole wardrobe cost me, including the long leather jacket, which was obviously the most expensive piece, and that piece cost me $95. So comment below what your guess is for this 18 piece capsule wardrobe. And I will let you know how much it was in a week's time. Well, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that colorful capsule wardrobe. I had so much fun making it, you have no idea. Now I wanna talk about how to quickly and ethically and sustainably donate your unwanted textiles. So there is this company called Apparel. And what they do is they take your unwanted textiles and they recycle them into new items and then sell them on their website. And if they cannot upcycle them or use them for anything else, they find the right people to donate them to. Your clothes will always get in the hands of someone and they will never end up in a landfill. Basically what you do is go online and choose how many kilograms that you would like to donate. You pack it up into a box and then you organize a collection time and they come and collect the items so you don't have to leave your house. So I have organized a 10 kilogram box to be collected from my house and I'm going to donate the items that I don't want to apparel and they are going to turn them into something amazing or find them new homes. They're also gonna give me a $25 credit to spend on their website because it's the first time I have used their service which is really nice so they've got some pretty funky socks on there so I might get some Christmas presents sorted I don't know if there are companies like this in America or anywhere else in the world but quick Google will tell you so textile waste needs radical intervention now we need to dramatically extend product life and stop textiles going to landfill we need to move mountains not make more I just love that. We should all keep that in our heads for the future. Thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below and let me know what you thought. See you in the next one. I really love this shirt. Like, isn't that gorgeous? It's really nice.